Bible, uh, Deuteronomy. You may be seated because I need to uh, struggle through what I need to, to get to. I, I want you to go first of all to chapter 1 of Deuteronomy. Uh, Usher, you may go ahead and be seated. Thank you very kindly. Thank you, young people. Thank you, Ushers. I'm not so partial to children. Hey, Amen. I, I want to do it from the um, first chapter. Go to the sixth verse. Uh, let me read this to you in order because my message is a very difficult message to preach and to even listen to on today. But it has a lot of meat in it that will certainly be a blessing to, to many of you that's in the place. In the sixth verse, I think it reads for you, The Lord our God spake unto us in horror, saying, Ye have dwelled long enough in this mount. Now go to the second chapter. The second chapter of Deuteronomy says, With the first verse, Then we turn into God and journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea as the Lord spake unto me. And we can pass uh, Mount Seir many days. And the Lord spake unto me saying, ye have compassed this mountain long enough. Turn you northward. I want you to uh, take part of consideration uh, the message in title, since we've already had church, I can just do a little teaching now. Uh, amen. I, I want to talk about uh, rut, rot, resilience, and revival. Uh, rut, rot, resilience, and revival. Uh, rut. Rot, resilience, and revival. But what I'm also subject to talk about it 10 15 in the moment. And especially on Sunday morning. Do, do the right. It itself, ladies and gentlemen, it, it is divided into uh, three different sermons. You, you will find, you will discover that. Uh, the, the first sermon appears somewhere uh, between the first chapter and, and the fourth chapter. And the second sermon appears between the fourth chapter and the 27th chapter. Then you have the last sermon that deals with the 27th to the 34th verse. 34th chapter. Uh, it, it, it's divided into separate divisions within that first uh, sermon. It deals with the review of God's act for Israel. Then he, he turns around and deals with uh, the, the exposition of the Decalogue, and, and he deals with ceremonial laws and civil laws and social laws, and any attorney would love reading Deuteronomy because it deals with torts and, and laws. It, it, it deals with a ratification of a covenant. It, it, it deals with a, a Palestinian covenant, and then the transition of the covenant mediator uh, early in the chapter it deals with well, what God had done and, and sometimes in order for you to understand what God would do you got to have had some experience yeah. of what he's already done I'm still in the introduction 
let me pick you up here. Sometimes you ain't going to be able to get happy off of what God is going to do. Your happiness will be on what God has already done. So, so, so the second part of that, that Deuteronomy, that book itself deals with what God expected of Israel. And I think that that's a, uh, Dr., that's an excellent teaching point because everybody that go to church, and even those that don't go to church, want God to do something for them. But the question is, what is it that God can expect from you? Everybody that's under my voice, and if, 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 if I say, what, what you want the Lord to do for you, 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 uh, you don't have enough paper in your pocketbook, in your mind, uh, to write down uh, everything that you want God to do for you. As a matter of fact, if, if you be honest, I got a couple of you babies in here with me today, that you'll be here all night long. If you really had to tell God everything you wanted him to do for you. But the question becomes in Deuteronomy, what is it that God can expect from you? Uh, then, then the last part of Deuteronomy, you ain't got time to read all this, this is what I'm trying to take you there. Uh, the, the last part of Deuteronomy, here's what the virtue of fact. Uh, that God will do. And, 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 and guess what? I, I love the fact that even if uh, hell, God hadn't done it, he still can do it. Yeah. And then this ain't a good crowd. Let me talk to some ushers and some in the back in the back. Pull the front end in front of me. It, 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 you ought to get happy on the just knowing he ain't done it yet, but I know he can. Yeah. I, 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 I ain't got the husband yet, but he on the way. Look, I ain't got the job yet, but it's on the way. My healing hadn't come yet, but I, I got sense enough to know that God. Oh, yeah. I'm almost done. Almost So the whole story, Deuteronomy, takes place not in several different cities. Takes place, takes place, takes place in the plain of Moab. Yeah, I at least got one preacher saved, man. <laughs> Tell when others hadn't read it. <laughs> it, it, it takes place in, in, in this one place. And, 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 and sometimes, guess what? You must be getting to ascertain the fact that, that God can bless me right where I am. <laughs> come, come, come here, I'm going to get talk to the person that's getting ready to do something. You, you talk about I'm getting ready to move to Atlanta. Uh, to Atlanta, you can move away. But if it's God, God can bless you. Oh, yes, right it is. Where you are. If you let it. Yeah, Lord. Oh, yes. Uh, so, so, uh, so, 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 Kind to these people. He had brought them out of Egypt and, and, and across the great wilderness. And, 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 and now, guess what? They, they, they stand ready to enter the promised land. Now, when Moses, uh, watch this, uh, but when Moses was writing it, this, this piece here, uh, it, now Moses is, it is old. Moses ain't no young man no more. 
times, and he was getting ready to write to those uh, that were coming on. And he was getting ready to write to the new generation. And, and I needed to paint, uh, uh, paint that picture because, guess what? We got a new generation that's coming on that don't act like us. Uh, let me move on. Wrong well, place to do that kind of stuff. We got a new generation, and, and let, me, let me tell you something, don't you get all walked and, and been out of shape because they don't act like you. Cause when you came along, you didn't act like the world the generation. I'm sorry, you mean, Lord have mercy. And guess what, folk ain't got the same morals and, 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 and integrity. Uh, 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 like when many of us grew up in, and uh, I need to brag on for us. Get an email that I get this one. Uh, you, you know, years ago, uh, you didn't see nobody singing in no choir uh, with, with no stockings off. <laughs> Say what I'm saying. I'm saying what I'm saying. I know you ain't been. I, I know you just got in church yesterday. Yeah. 